Danville is a step closer now to returning to life the way it was before Tropical Storm Michael. Federal and state officials toured the city today. They surveyed the damage done to homes and businesses. And 10 News reporter Coulter Anstead talked with the owner of a family-run apartment complex that's in need of help. That's a water line, so it's probably six inches inside. The Colonial Heights apartment complex was the third stop of the day for representatives from the Small Business Administration and the Virginia Department of Emergency Management. Cleanup continues in the 23 first floor apartments that are now uninhabitable due to damage from Tropical Storm Michael. I've been overwhelmed since the flood, but in a bad way. Angela Baldwin owns the apartment complex her grandfather built in the 1960s. Some tenants living there since the 80s are like family to her. To see them be devastated and traumatized and, and confused. Um, so I just. In my mind, there was no other option. I, I'm done. Like, my legacy is over. The SBA and VDEM representatives looked at structural damage, water lines, and spoke to property owners about the history of problems with their property. The information that they're going to collect today would be, will be compiled in a report and then pushed up uh, to their counterparts. Uh, on up to the president. If a disaster is declared, the SBA will open up an office in Danville where people can apply for help. The SBA assistance is in the form of low interest uh, loans. While Baldwin says the flood damage is overwhelming, so too is the news the government is here to help. To know that there's an option for me that maybe the legacy doesn't end. FEMA representatives are expected to be in Danville next week to tour the storm damage as well. In Danville, Coulter Anstat, 10 News, working for you.